Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today session I am going to discuss about Verilog HTML code for bitwise operator. So before I enter to write the program, first I recall the term bitwise operator. So operator in the sense, it declares the operations. It declares the operations. Here the operations are and operation, or operation, nor, NAND and XOR. So these five operations comes in the bitwise operator. The symbol of AND operation is ampersand. So this ampersand symbol is represent the AND operation. So OR operation symbol is this one. So this one is called as a OR operation symbol. Then NOR operation. So NOR operation is just NOT of OR. So not of R. Uh, so it's a nor operation. NAND operation in the sense not of ampersand. Then XOR you can use one cap. So this is the symbol of AND operation, OR operation, NOR operation, NAND and XOR operations. So in this video I just discuss. So how to represent the AND operation, OR operation, NOR and NAND XOR operation in Verilog HTML program. So first I write module. So module then module name. So I just take the first name BO. So BO bitwise operator is a module name. Then what are the variables used in the program. Here I am taking two variables A and B. So these two variables are 4 bit values. 3 is to 0. So it represents A0, A1, A2, A3. So B variable also 4 bit variables. It represents 3 is to 0. That variable name is called B0, B1, B2, B3. Then you can get the output y1, y2, y3, y4, y5. Because here we did 5 operations. AND operation, OR operation, NOR operation, NAND and XR. So each operation carried the output is y1, y2, y3, y4 and y5. So it's also 4 bit variables. The output also 4 bit variables. 3 is the 0. So these two variables are called as an input variable. So this one called as a output variable. So here A, B, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5. So these, these are the variables used in the bitwise operator program. So here I just mentioned the variables. Next step, assigning the input variables and output variables for the corresponding program. Let me write first input variable. So input variables are A and B. So these two variables comes at a 4 bit value. So here I represent the vector variable 3 is to 0 A comma B. So this A variable and B variable. So these two variables are 4 bit values. Then I declare output variables. So here output variable also 4 bit values. 3 is to 0. Then output variables. So these 5 variables are called as an output variable. Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5. So far, we declare the input variables A and B and the output variables Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5. So these five variables are four bit values. Now, I go to the operation assign Y1. So Y1 is the first output variables. Here I am doing the AND operation. Here I am doing AND operation A. So what is the symbol of AND? So ampersand. So this ampersand symbol is a AND operation. 
A and B. So first operation is over. So after and operation, the result is stored in the variable y1. Then second operation is or operation. You can use assign y2 equal to a. So or symbol is this one. So or b. So output of or is stored in y2 variable. Then third operation is nor operation. Assign y3 equal to so this symbol represent not operation or complement complement or inversion just taking inversion of or operation a or b so it's a not function then fourth one is nand operation so just to take a complement of and operation assign y4 equal to not of a ampersand b so it's a nand operation so this one is nand operation this one is nor operation this one is or operation this one is and operation the final one xor just taking xor assign y5 equal to a so xor b so this cap is a symbol of xor so here we did the five operations and operation or operation nor and nand final one is xor so finally you close the statement in module close the module this is a simple program for bitwise operator so this five operations comes under bitwise so in this program i am taking two variables each variable contain the values four bit values output variable is y1 to y5 just to declare the operations you should remember the symbol of and operation or operation nor and nand and xor operations i hope you understand the concept very well if you are seeing first time in my video kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos thanks for watching my channel thank you